Huh? We did that tamiz business in book one, remember? Kam taliban fi faslikum ya shaykh. Now we are doing it again. We'll start with, brothers and sisters, we will start with key. Hmm? We'll start with key. Most of the lesson is very easy, extremely easy, and extremely interesting, except for a couple of things. Inshallah, I'll try to explain you slowly, slowly, and inshallah, you will understand it. Okay, brother and sister, mafulun mutlaq. What is mafulun mutlaq? It is a master. Al mafulu lahu. What is it? Master. Now tamiz. What is tamiz? Now. It's not master. It is now. That's the difference. Okay. In this lesson we learn the following. At tamiz. Now tamiz is actually a master itself from mayyaza. Mayyaza yumayizu tamiz. Mayyaza. Will you remember? Shall I write it down? Okay, I'll write it down, brothers and sisters. Mayyaza. Master is Tam Yi Zun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? What is the meaning of Mayyaza? To specify. Okay. To, to elaborate. Yes, sister. Oh, you are right, sister. Uh, Mashallah, Jazakila, sister. You might use, huh? you might use the form, because it's the four letter, so it has to be Dhamma. Jazakila, sister. It is a noun used to specify. Huh? So Mayyaza means to specify. It is now used to specify and define an indeterminate idea contained in the previous words or in the whole sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sharibtu Litran Haliban. If I said to you, Sharibtu Litran, if I said to you, Sharibtu Litran. What does it mean? Hmm? I drank a liter. Liter of what? So now you have to bring tamis huh? to uh, make it very clear. Huh? Okay, I drank a liter of milk. Huh? The word liter refers to an amount, but the meaning is not complete unless words like water, milk, Oil, etc. Unless words like water, milk, oil, etc. are mentioned. Ibrahimu Ahsanu Minni. Translation, brother. Is better than me. In what way? Then you got to specify. Huh? Ibrahim is better than I with regard to handwriting. There are many things in which one may be better than the other. In this example, the word khattan specifies the particular aspect. Tamiz is mansub. There are two kinds of tamiz. Number one, brother and sister, tamizu zat. Okay. Now this is something you will, inshallah, slowly, slowly memorize it. Huh? Tamizu zat. This comes after words denoting quantity. When you talk about quantity, then the tamiz that you are using is called tamizu zat. There are four kinds of quantity. How many kinds, brothers and sisters? Four kinds of quantities. <clears throat> number one, al adadu. Numbers. Of course, the number. Describe quantity huh? from the Quran, brothers and sisters. Ya abati, huh? inni raitu ahada ashara kaukaban. If I say raitu ahada ashara, the idea is not clear. You got to have 
Kaukaban, you bring a tamis to make it clear. Kaukaban, O oh my father, I saw in a dream eleven stars. The tamis of number is Mansub after eleven to ninety-nine. Now here, brothers and sisters, all our knowledge of numbers will become handy. Do you remember? Number eleven to ninety-nine. It is tamis, it's Mansu, huh? and then from 3 to 10, the Tamiz becomes Bat Tamiz. <laughs> huh? It becomes Bat Tamiz. Why? Instead of uh, Mansub, it became Majroor. Mudaf Mudaf Ilayhi. But Mudaf Ilayhi is Jama. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, after 100 and 1000, again the Tamiz is. Majroor, but it is singular. Huh? So in other words, now in our higher studies, we will understand that Tamis can come in the form of being Majroor also. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Al-Misahatu. What is the meaning of Misahatu? Linear measurement. For example, you say a meter of something, in our olden days, we used to say a yard of something, a mile, a kilometer. What are these, brothers and sisters? These are all linear measurement. Ishtaraitu mitran. I bought a meter. Okay, very good. I'm not sure what did you buy. So then you have to bring the tamis. Ishtaraitu mitran hariran. I bought one meter of silk. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Huh? Now, then it is kailu. Huh? Measure of capacity. You buy milk and other commodities in the form of a packet which, which has a certain amount of uh, milk or other things in it. Huh? So you say, Atini Litaraini. Give me two liters. Two liters of what? Then you say haliban. Huh? So give me two liters of milk. So here, brothers and sisters, haliban is tamiz. Are you with me? And you will call it, it's tamiz zuzat. And also you will call it, it's a measure of capacity. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. And wasnu. Okay. In the Kilogram. I have one kilogram. In the kilogram of what? Burtukalan. Oranges. But here kilogram, brother and sister, denotes weight. What does it denote? It denotes weight. I have one kilogram of oranges. Now comes very, very important thing, brothers and sisters. Words resembling words of quantity. Also take tamis. The words itself are not, you know, uh, quantity or measure, but they denote quantity or measure. Okay. For example, the word come, how many? When you say how many, it denotes quantity. Huh? How many? Resembles the number. Kam huh? bintan laka. So you have bintan here. It needs a tamiz. How many daughters you have. The second example, brothers and sisters. Okay. Mafis samai. Mafis samai. There is not, there, in the sky there is not, what is not? Kadru Rahatin. Brother, Rahatin is the palm. Huh? Kadru is the size. Ma Fisamai Kadru Rahatin Sahaban. Sahaban is cloud. There is not in the sky a cloud of the size of the palm. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? There is not in the sky a cloud the size of the palm of the hand. 
Right? Here the words Kadru Rahatin, the size of the palm, resemble words denoting linear manage, measurement. Linear measurement. Words denoting linear measurement. Halindaka, Halindaka, Kisun. What is the meaning of Kisun? Bag. If I say Halindaka Kisun, translation, brother, do you have a bag? You know? So the bag uh, itself denotes a quantity. Are you with me? The bag denotes a quantity. So then you will have to have a tamiz there. Okay? So what is it? Halindaka Kisun Dakikan. Have you got a sack of flour? Here the word kisun, sack, resembles a word denoting measure of capacity. The last one, brother. Then we inshallah take a break. Huh? Number four. This is from the Quran, brother and sisters. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرَيْ يَرَهُ What is مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ, brother and sisters? Huh? Atoms wait. Huh? Atoms wait. Okay. Whoever does an atom's weight of good will see it. So, Mifkala Zaratin, it is Mudaf, Mudafilahi. But this Mudaf, Mudafilahi denotes what? Weight. It denotes what? Weight. So, we have to have a Tamiz. Because Mifkala Zaratin, Atoms weight of what? Then you have to bring tamis. Eh? Inshallah, we take a break, brothers and sisters, and then we will continue, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. We are all fresh and re-energized, inshallah. Uh, we'll continue. So, once again, I tell you, brother, this and sisters, this lesson is quite easy, except for a couple of things which we will try to understand slowly, slowly. But when you read it, inshallah, it will become very, very clear to you. So, we continue from where we left. We read the sentence, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى So, مِفْكَالَ ذَرَّةٍ is mudaf mudaf ilihi. But this mudaf mudaf ilihi denotes weight. Huh? Okay, and therefore we have to bring in the tamiz. Huh? Fine. These are the examples of tamiz zat. Everything that we studied so far refers to quantity. And that the quantity can be number, it can be linear me measurement, it can be measurement of capacity, or it can be weight. Huh? We have to remember that, inshallah. The next sentence is. Tamizu zat. Remember, we are talking about tamizu zat. Huh? We are talking only about tamizu zat. May also be majroor. Either because of the preposition min, or because, or because of its being modafilehi. Istaraitu mitran hariran. This is our normal, brother. Brothers and sisters, this is our, this is our normal. Huh? Now we can also say, you know, ishtaraitu mitran min haririn. Huh? So we brought min and haririn, so it became majroor. But it is still tamiz. Min haririn is jar majroor fi mahalli nasbin tamiz. Or you can say, ishtaraitu Mitara haririn. A meter of silk. Okay. But this rule does not apply to tamiz of number. Huh? Remember, the numbers have their own rules. What are those rules, brothers and sisters? 3 to 10, 11 to 99, and then after that, 100 and 1000. They have their own rules, and we know that, inshallah. Okay. Now comes another thing. Huh? Two kinds of tamiz. Tamizu zat, 
which signifies numbers, quantities. The next one is tamizu nispati, tamiz of relationship. Okay, it relates to something. It is used to specify and define an indeterminate idea contained in the whole sentence. Contained in the whole sentence. Hathuna hada talibu khulukan. What is hathuna? This is bab karuma. Remember? Karuma, it's verb. Huh? Where is the file? Hada. And what is talib? Padan. Huh? Padan. This student became, you know, good. Okay. In what way? Look at this student is good with regards to manner. Huh? So Hulukan is your tamiz. What will you call it? Tamiz nispati. Okay. And whenever you will see, brothers and sisters, this is easy to remember. Are you listening to me? Whenever you will see ismutaftil, comparative and superlative degree. The tamiz will come and it will, that tamiz will be tamizun nispati. Huh? Tamizun nispati. So it's very easy, inshallah, you'll be able to figure out. Huh? Now here, something else Dr. Sahib is explaining. These three sentences, four sentences, are only for our understanding. Huh? At this stage. Later on, you will master it. And you will be able to turn around the sentences by yourself. But at our stage of learning, I only feel that we should understand it and remember it. What is it, brothers and sisters? The tamiz can be construed as either the file or mafulun bihi of the sentence. Now here we have a tamiz, okay, which is mansu. But it can also be construed as if it is a file or as if it is a mafulun bihi. It means you can change the sentence around and make that tamiz into file or make the tamiz into it can become mafulun bihi, it can become file. So please understand it, okay? Hafuna bilalun hulukan. Bilal is good with regard to manners. Right. Can be construed as Hasuna Hulukul Bilalin. Huh? Bilal's manners are good. Before it was Hulukan, now it became a file. Hasuna Hulukul. Bilalin. Got the idea? Mudah, mudah, bili. This is one possibility. As I said, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will read it a few times and it will come to you slowly, slowly. This is only for us to understand. Later on, you will become strong and it will be within your graphs to change the things, change the sentence around. Fajarna. Okay, this is from the Quran, brothers and sisters. Fajarna al Arda. We exploded the earth. Huh? Uyunan. What is Uyunan? Springs. Are you with me? It's the Jama of Ainun. Uyunun. Uyunan. That is your. What is Uyunan here? Tamiz. Huh? It is your Tamiz. Huh? Fajarna al Arda. Arda is your mafulun bihi. Huh? Okay. It can also be construed as Fajarna Uyunal Ardi. Got the idea, brother and sister? Uyunal Ardi. So before Uyunan was Tamiz, now it became mafulun bihi. So this is possible. There is a possibility of this sort of a change in the sentence. Okay. 
We have to remember one thing for sure. What is that, brothers and sisters? That this tamiz is always mansu. It cannot be majru. Tamiz who that can become majru. Okay? But this uh, tamiz is always mansu. Huh? Okay. Now I am uh, going into the uh, next one, which is very simple. We are learning a new pattern of masta. Fu'lun. What is it? Fu'lun. Okay. This is very easy, brothers and sisters. Very easy. Make the master, you already know from book one, book two. Huh? Sure. Huh? Drinking. Huh? So what is the pattern? Follow. Shakara Yashkuru. Shukra. That's the pattern, brother. That's it. Another very important uh, aspect is here, brother and sister, we have learned fellow tajib, huh? the verb of wonder. How have we learned so far? It is always starting with ma and then ajmala, akbara, aksara, huh? ma and then the verb, brother and sister. Ma ajmala nujuma. How beautiful the stars are. Now it has got another form with the same meaning. The meaning does not change. The wonder is there. Exclamation is still there. And what is that? You make it into Amar. And you, and you use Hafjar after that. What did I say? You make that verb into Amar and after that you will have to use B. Fine. So, Ma Ajmala Nujum can become change the Ajmala into Amar Ajmil. What will you say? Ajmil. And then you have got to bring the Harfchar. Bin Nujumi. Are you with me? It's very easy. Very easy. It comes in the Quran. Meaning does not change at all. Huh? So, the pattern is Afa'il Bihi. Afa'il Bihi. Huh? But if the, the noun is already there, then you will use B with that noun. For example, Ma Aktharan Nujuma. How numerous the stars are. Are you with me? Now remove ma and aksara, make it into amar. What will you say? Aksar, and then bring in arfchar b, bin mujumi. What is the meaning? Same meaning. How numerous the stars are. Huh? So this is another pattern of fellow tajub. Huh? Ma ajmala something. And then Ajmil uh, or Afael and with Harfchar B. Uh. Ma Afakarahu. How poor he is. Ma Afakarahu. Remember, we have done this before. Uh. So Afakara, make it Amar. Afkir. And who is there? But we have to bring Harfchar. B. So what will you say? Afkir. Bihi. Khalas. The meaning is same. It did not change. And it is in the Quran. So when you come across this sentence in the Quran, you know it signifies Fialu uh, Inshallah. Both these forms have been used in the Quran. Fama asbarahum alannar. How patiently they can endure fire. Fama Asbarahum alannar. Okay. 
Now this is the normal. What we already learned before. But here is the new one. Absir bihi wa asmiya. How clearly he sees and how keenly he hears. I want you to look at this sentence, brothers and sisters, very carefully. The translation. How clearly. What is after that? He. Do you see he? What do you see in he? The H is capital. Why? This is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, sees everything clearly and hears everything keenly. Huh? Now you got to go back to this ayah in Surah Kaf and see uh, the other lines of the verse, you know. Gaibu samavati walardi. Allah knows the secrets, the un the things unseen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And then this comes, you know, how best Allah sees and how best Allah hears. It is in the Quran. So there are three lines before this. So if you read the whole ayah, you will get a clear picture uh, that we are talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this. Uh, so if you get an opportunity, please look uh, this verse in Surah Kaf. You will love it, inshallah. You are going to enjoy it and you are going to understand that particular verse word for word. You will understand, inshallah. Absir bihi, you have seen harjar bi. But asmiya, no bi came because there is no need to repeat. It's understood to be there. Okay, brothers and sisters, now we go to the main lesson. Now, what will you be doing? You will be identifying tamiz. What will you say now? Tamiz uzat or tamiz nisbat. Huh? You will be watching and trying to identify. Inshallah, you will be able to do it. If you are not successful, if you make mistakes, don't worry about it. Because this is the first time you are learning. But when you will revise, inshallah, this lesson is very, very sweet, very easy to comprehend, inshallah. Lesson number 30. Adarsu salah surah. al mudarris What is in the beginning, brothers and sisters? Hamzatul istifa. So the Hamza of the verb has been dropped. Instead of saying a ishtaraita, a ishtaraita, we say ashtaraita, huh? ashtaraita, because it is a question that has that is being asked with the Hamzatul istifa. Ashtaraita la shia al matluba li sunail lahwati nahviati ya Ahmad. Ashtaraita al ashia al matlubata li sun il lahwati nahviyati. Translation, brother. Did you purchase required thing? Huh? Matlub is required thing. Huh? Huh? For sun e, brother, what is this sun e? Sana'a yasna'u. Sana'a. Huh? Sun'un, okay? Here is the pattern of the verb. Sun'un. So sun'i. Eh? Matlu. What is matlu? It's maful. Talaba yatlubu. Matlu. Eh? Required. Eh? Did you purchase the required things for making Lauhat, posters, huh? or charts. Okay, brothers and sisters. Nahviyati. What is Nahviya? Grammar charts, you know. There is a project in the class to make 
posters of the grammar or charts of the grammar. So Ahmed was supposed to buy some material for it. Okay. What is the answer? Naam. I bought. What did you buy? Mitaraini. What is Mitaraini? What is Mitaraini? Mafulun bihi. Mitaraini is Mafulun bihi. Do not get confused, brothers and sisters. Mitaraini, Mafulun bihi. Wa alamatu nas bihi. Alya. Alya. Liannahu. Wasanna. Fine. If he says, Ishtaraitu mitaraini, is it clear? No. I bought two meters of what? Then we have Warakan. Are you with me? Warakan. So what is Warakan? Tamiz. Tamiz. Huh? Paper. Huh? Tamizu zat. Huh? Okay, because mitarain, uh, what kind of a uh, quantity is misah? It's the linear me- measurement. Huh? It is always in yards or even in miles or kilometers. Okay, fine. Wakamsata Ashara Kalaman. What is Kalaman? Then we know from long time, brother. What is Kalaman? Tamiz, huh? from eleven to ninety-nine. So Kamsata Ashara is your Mafulun Bihi and Kalaman is your Tamiz and this is Tamizuzat. Huh? Tamizuzat. It denotes number. The ahjamin. Brother, ahjamin. What is the singular? Hajmun. What is the singular? Hajmun. What is the meaning of hajmun? Size, type. Huh? Different sizes. Are you with me? Bi ahjamin means different sizes. Wa huh? alawanin and colors. Mukhtalifatin. Now, mukhtalifatin is the not for alwanin. And alwanin is, is mautufun ala ahjamin. Huh? Ahjamin, okay. So, how will you translate, brothers and sisters? I bought two meters of paper. And I bought 15 pens of different sizes and colors, inshallah. Ta'ala. What is this ta'ala? Fail amr. Describe it, brothers and sisters. Fail amrin mabniun ala hazfi harfi illa. Are you with me? Form 6, mashallah. Ta'ala, ya Ali. Now, normally we always say ta'al. We give a sukun, but the correct thing is ta'ala. Huh? But when you say ta'al, it's absolutely correct, huh, brothers and sisters. But if you have to write proper harakat, then you know it is ta'ala, not with a sukun, but with a fatah. Ta'al. Ta'ala, ya Ali. Waktub hadihi ayati. Write these verses, Hadhil Ayati, these verses. What is Hazihi? Mafulun bihi. And what is Al Ayati? Badal. Allah Sabura. Allah Sabura. Ali. What did you say? Li yaktubha Ahmad. Let Ahmad write. Huh? Okay? Fine. فَإِنَّهُ because أَحْسَنُ مِنِّي خَطًّا Because he is better than me in handwriting. Huh? So brother, what is khatan? Tamizu nisbat. Huh? Tamizu nisbat. It's very easy brother, inshallah you are going to love this. Huh? يَكْتُبُهَا أَحْمَدُ Ahmad writes them. Huh? Al Mudaris. Ikra Hadil Ayat Ya Zuhair. Translation. 
reads these ayats of Zuhair. Zuhair says, Li yakra ha, li yakra ha, Hamidu. Let Hamid, fa'innahu asanuna, is be- best amongst us. Eh? He's best of us. Asanuna, it is mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Fa'innahu asanuna, is best of us. In what way? Tilawatan, eh? tamiz. Tamidu nispa. Wa ajmaluna. And he's most beautiful among us. Eh? Of us. Sultan. Same thing. In the voice. is is the best of us in voice. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So what is Sultan? Tamiz. Tamiz of what? Nispa. Very good. Badal istiadati wa basmalati. But this is a very beautiful verse. Huh? Very beautiful verse. Man ahsanu kaulan. Man ahsanu kaulan. What is kaulan? Tamiz. <laughs> what kind of a tamiz? Nisbat. Because again we are talking about comparative and superlative degree. Right? وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ كَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَكَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ uh, Brothers and sisters, who is better in speech? Who is better in saying than the one who calls Allah and does good deeds and says, I am from the one who submits to the will of Allah. Uh, brothers and sisters, some scholars say, this particular verse refers to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who is better than Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Are you with me? Uh, because these attributes apply to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inni min al I am the first one to submit to Allah. Okay? So, we can say that this verse is especially for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَمَنْ أَحْثَنُ كَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَمِلَ صَالِحًا Everything we read here applies to Prophet. That's the way he led his life. Wakala and he said, Innani min al Muslimin. Right. Okay, brothers and sisters. So that was Kaulan was what was Kaulan? Tamidun Nisbat. Wamaya mala miskala zarratin khairan. Khairan is Tamiz. What kind of a tamiz? Tamiz Zat. Because Miskala Zarratin uh, that compound denotes Quantity. Huh? Oh, it denotes wasan, huh? but it is tamiduzad, refers to quantity. Okay. Wamay yamala miskala zarratin sharrai yarahu. Okay. There is no fa here. Why? Huh? Because both the fellow shart and jawabu shart are in their original state of majizum. There is no need for the fa to join in. Eh? Very good, brothers and sisters. Now the mother is saying, eh? MashaAllah, Ahsan Bika, Karyan. Eh? This is Tahajub, brothers and sisters. Now, change it, brother. ما أحسنك ما أحسنك كاري أن how uh, good kari you are huh? are you with me تعجب so here instead of ما أحسن came أحسن بك كاري أن so what is kari أن brothers and sisters tamiz what kind of a tamiz nisbat 
it will be nisbat. Malallahu huh? kalbaka sururan. Read this sentence, brothers and sisters. Malaa. What is malaa? Madi. What is the meaning of malaa? To fill. Malahu kalbaka sururan. May Allah fill your heart with happiness. Malallahu kalbaka sururan. Suru ran. What is suru ran? Tamiz. <laughs> okay, look at it, brothers and sisters. Do not read suru ran. Huh? Read mala Allahu kalbaka. Translate. May Allah fill your heart. With what? So comes the tamiz, suru ran. What kind of a tamiz is this? Nisbah. Tamiz, nisbah. Okay. Kama as malata khulubana as you have filled our heart bahajatan wa sururan. Bahajatan wa sururan are almost identical with happiness okay and joy. You can say with happiness and joy or delight. Bahajatan can mean Joy and delight. Ikra al Hadith. Ikra al Hadith ya Ali. Ali says, An Nafin an Abdullahi kala Amar an Nabiyu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Amar an Nabiyu bi zakatil fitri. Again, the Eid al-Fitr will come and we will be paying our zakat. Huh? Zakat al-Fitr. Be zakat al-Fitr. Sa'an. What is sa'an here? No. Sa'an is mafulun bihi. What is it? Mafulun bihi. Translate, brothers and sisters. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered huh? That we give sa'a as a zakat. Are you with me? So what is sa'a? Sa'an. It is a measure of capacity. Huh? It is a measure of capacity. Huh? Okay. Now comes tamiz. What is the tamiz? Sa'an min tamarin. Huh? Huh? The measure of capacity in dates... Aw sa'an min sha'irin. What is sha'irin? Barley. 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 Okay? So here, brothers and sisters, min has come. Huh? So the tamiz became majru. Remove min. What will you say? Sa'an tamran. Aw sa'an Shairan. And then it will be proper. But you can say min and the tamiz became majroor. So it is possible. Huh? It is permissible. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? You can even change that into mudaf mudaf ilahi. How will you change that into mudaf mudaf ilahi? Sa'a tamrin wa sa'a shairan. You can. Huh? Okay. But we have to understand this, brothers and sisters. Okay, so what is here? Min tamarin? Tamiz. What kind of? Zat. Zat. Why zat? Because it is a measure of capacity. Huh? Very good. Alhamdulillah. See, I told you it's easy. You will be able to do it and you will enjoy it. Huh? Alhamdulillah. But the lesson is over. Huh? Only the main part. We will inshallah do the rest of it. Huh? Okay. Number two. Because the first thing I leave to you to do it at home. Now, whatever we read in English, we are now reading in Arabic. Brothers and sisters, it is an indefinite noun. Huh? It contains the meaning of min. 
اوکے لی بیانی ما قبلہ من اجمالی what is the meaning of اجمال brevity in very concise form huh? in very short form huh? it will describe in very short form what is before it are you with me brothers and sisters summarize you can say uh, but brevity is the correct word brothers and sisters now in the mitron are you with me brothers and sisters in the mitron translation i have a meter so now hariran has come to describe what is before hariran which is i have a meter of self huh? now immediately here brothers and sisters if you want you can say in the mitron min hariran you can say or you can say in the mitru hariran you can say but let us stick to the original tamiz form ha huh? mansub ha huh? hasuna hamidun khulukan ha huh? tamiz nisbat ha huh? very good balances fa taqdiru jumlataini indi mitrun min haririn hasuna hamidun min jihati khulukihi ha huh? from the side of the character he became or he is good uh, from the side of manners are you with me brothers and sisters from the side of manners okay atamizu nawani there are two kinds of tamiz what are they brothers and sisters tamizu zati wa tamizu nisbati now we have done all these things brothers and sisters tamizu zati who will walk you it occurs after makadir what is makadir huh? what is the singular of makadir miqdar what is it miqdar huh? what is the meaning of miqdar quantity huh? this is the singular brother it occurs بعد مقادير والمقادير اربع انواع and the, the quantity has got four kinds what are they brothers and sisters al adad ha ya abati inni raitu ahada ashara kawkaban we just uh, uh, discussed that earlier huh? kawkaban is your tamiz huh? and it will be tamiz zat kam kitaban karata huh? how many books did you read so what will be kitaban tamizu zat because it denotes number fine number 2 mamsuhat brothers and sisters mamsuhat but write down also this al what is the verb masaha masaha is to wipe but there is another meaning of masaha is to survey huh okay to survey now you survey the distance and things like that look at it brothers and sisters carefully masaha are you with me kataba make master kita kara a are you with me brothers and sisters darasa masaha misa so that is your master so write down so inshallah it will become very easy for you you know once you try to understand the words from their roots it becomes very easy and interesting huh? fine in the ziraun ardan i have one yard of land fine brother so this what do you call in english al masahatu linear measurement what will you call it linear measurement when you go and buy a cloth that's a linear measurement are you with me brothers and sisters inshallah right 
al makilatu. Brother, this is makilun or al kailun, huh? which is a measure of capacity. Huh? Measure of capacity. Ataituhu, huh? I gave him, what did you give him? Sa and tamran. Tamran is tamis. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Al mawzunatu. Huh? This is ha. Huh? This is wazan. Huh? This is al wazan. Aindaka. What is the meaning of aindaka? Do you have? Ritlum. Pound. Pound. Huh? Samnan. What is samnan, brothers and sisters? Cooking oil. Margarine. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now translate this sentence. Do you have a pound of cooking margarine or cooking oil? Huh? So, what is samnan? What is samnan, brothers and sisters? Tamizuzat. Huh? Okay? Because it denotes vasan. I will read two more sentences, brothers and sisters. وَيُلْحَكُوا بِهَا أَدَّالُ أَلَا مَا يُشْبِهُ مِكْدَارُ Okay, brothers and sisters. What is the meaning of this? The word which denotes quantity will also have a tamiz. Okay? Or you can say, brothers and sisters, the words resembling the words of quantity, the words resembling the words of quantity also take tamiz. Huh? Look at this sentence, brother. Ma fis samai kadru rahatin. Ma fis samai kadru rahatin. What is rahatin? Is your palm. What is kadru? The size. Huh? Brother, kadru rahatin is mudaf mudafili. But does it describe anything? Yes, it describes the size. Huh? It describes the size. And what is that size, brother and sister? Uh, that is your uh, al misahat. What is it? Al misahatu. Huh? Uh, linear measurement. Huh? Because, okay. So, brother, here it will have tamis. Where is the tamis? Sahaban. Translate, brothers and sisters. There is not in the sky a cloud. Uh, the size of a palm. Now this is a very common expression because the summers are so hot in the Middle East and you look up, you don't see cloud for days and days, you know. And then people say, even the size of palm, there is no cloud in the sky. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Next one, brothers and sisters. In the jarratun ma'an. What is jarratun? Jarratun means jar. Jaratun means jar. So in the jaratun, I have a jar. Fine. Is it jar of gold? Huh? Or what is oil? What is it? Ma'an. Huh? So brother, jaratun, a jar, but it, res it resembles quantity. Measure of capacity. Huh? Fine. Uridu kisan. Brother, I need a bag. Now, bag is a bag, but it resembles quantity. So, daki kan. And same things, brother and sisters. Why? Last thing, then I will stop, brother and sisters. Yajuzu nasbuhu. It is permissible, okay, that it should be mansu. In the mitron. Hariran. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, wa yajuzu jarruhu. It is permissible that it can become majroor. In the mitron men hariran. Can you see hariran mansu and hariran majroor? So it is permissible. Kama yajuzu jarruhu bil idafati. What is idafati? Making Mudafilehi. Eh? Nahwa. 
Hindi, Metru, Hariren. So you can see that Tamiz, Zat, can have these three different situations. It can be Mansu, or it can be Majroor, with Min, or it can be Mudafilehi. That's it, brothers and sisters. See you, brothers and sisters. We'll again go back to page number 252 hmm, in the book. I want to again start from Wayulhaku Bihadalu. What is the meaning of Dalu? Indicator. Huh? Something which indicates. Dalla Yadullu Wahua Dalu. Alama Yushbihu. What is Yushbihu? It is a verb, Mudarya. What is Madi? Ashbaha. What is it? Ashbaha. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'm going to write a lot of things on the board. Huh? Inshallah, follow me, brothers and sisters. Ashbaha. Yushbihu. To resemble. Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look alike. Huh? Be similar. Okay. And then miqdar. What is the meaning of miqdar? Quantity. Huh? Miqdar means quantity. Now quantity can be amount, size, volume, uh, measure, proportion, number. These are all coming under the heading of quantity. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, what is the meaning of this sentence? Yul haku bihad dalu alama yushbihu mekdara. Okay. Words resembling quantity are treated as quantities and therefore Take tamiz. Words resembling quantities are treated like quantities and therefore take tamiz. Number one sentence, you got to tell me how does it resemble with the quantity. Huh? Watch for it and tell me again, brother and sister. Mafis samai kadru rahatim. Kadru rahatim. No, together, mudah mudafilihi. Size of the palm. When you say size of the palm, what kind of a measure it is? Linear measure. Write down linear measure. It resembles linear measure. And then it should take tamiz. Where is the tamiz? Sahaban, clouds. There is not in the sky a cloud the size of a palm. Okay, right. Number two, brothers and sisters. Hindi, jarratun. What is the meaning of jarratun? Jar. So, what is jar? What does it signify? It signifies quantity. But what kind of a quantity? Measurement of capacity. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? What is it, brothers? It denotes uh, measure of capacity. Jarratun denotes, it resembles. Uh, okay? It resembles, and what does it re resemble? Measure of capacity. Capacity. Uh, uh. So that's why we have to bring Tamiz. Uh. Next one, brothers and sisters. Uridu ki san. Just Uridu kisan. What is Uridu? Felun mudarion, marfun bidamma, fail mustatir, takdiruhu ana. Kisan mafulun bihi. A bag. Now, what does bag resemble? It, no. Bag resembles quantity. Okay? But what kind of a, now we will say, quantity? Uh, measure of capacity. Again, measure of capacity. So, in other words, here the word 
Kisun or a sack huh, resembles words denoting measure of capacity. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Please write it down huh, briefly. Measure of capacity. So the bag or a sack in English we can say also sack. Huh, a sack of flour or sack of rice. That resembles quantity which is a measure of capacity. Fine, brother. Next one, brothers and sisters. For my yamal miskal azaratin khairai yara. So miskal azaratin, atoms weight. What does it resemble? It resembles weight. Huh? Okay. Here the words. Look at it. Mudaf mudafiri. Miskal azaratin. Atoms weight or weight of an atom resembles words denoting weight. Huh? Keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. And then, hukmuhu, it's ruling, it's permissible, yajuzu, naspuhu. Okay? It is permissible to have it mansu. Fine, fine, brothers and sisters. In the in the is zarf. Zarf and mudafile. So what is in the zarf shibu jumla khabar. And then ya mutakalam mudafile. Fine. Mitrun, what is mitrun? Muftida. So what is hariran? This is tamiz. This is Tamis, brothers and sisters. I have a meter. Meter of what? Silk. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. So here, Hariran is Manchu. It is also permissible. Yajuzu, Jarruhu, that it should, can come as a Majroor. It is also permissible that it can come as a Majroor with Min. With min, that is important. In the same thing, mitharun, min harir. So what is min harir? This is your tamis now. This is your tamis, but in the form of being majroor. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is also permissible. And also, kama yajuzu jarruhu bil idafati. And it is permissible. Uh, that it be made majroor by being mudafilehi. By being mudafilehi. Idafatu means making it mudaf mudafilehi. Uh, in the mitru haririn. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Uh, you got the idea? In the mitru haririn. Okay? Now we come to the next one, brothers and sisters. وَقَدْ يُدَافُ الدَّالُ عَلَى الْمِكْدَارِ إِلَى غَيْرِ تَمِيزِ Now I'm going to explain you by translation. Huh? But the Qad has come so it, with Mudariya, it's, it means maybe, can be. Hmm? We have a Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi, resembling quantity. Are you with me? Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi, resembling quantity. Okay? And they should have tamis. Fine. So look at it here. If two words denoting quantities are Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi, what did I say? If you want to write it down, please write it down. If two words Denoting quantities or mudaf and mudafile. Shall I write down on the board? Okay, I will write down on the board, brothers and sisters. Because this is important, brother. If two words denoting quantities. Are 
Udav V Udav Elihi I have crossed something which is wrong, incorrect. Huh? Are you with me? The one that I have crossed is incorrect. So this is the meaning of this sentence, brothers and sisters. وَقَدْ جُدَافُ الدَّالُ عَلَى الْمِكْدَارِ إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ تَمِيز The meaning of this is that, you know, if the two words come together, denoting quantities, which is mudaf, mudaf ilahi, huh? then you cannot make it that last word again, mudaf and then another mudaf ilahi. So if you want to bring tamiz, you cannot make tamiz mudaf ilahi again. Huh? It's best explained with the example. Huh? If, if two words are denoting quantities, are mudaf, mudaf ilahi, the words denoting tamiz, will not be used as further mudaf ilahi. Huh? Okay, see, mudaf, mudaf ilahi. You can make mudaf ilahi again mudaf, 
and the tamiz mudafili. You can't do that. Huh? So we have to do it. Atini mela kafin. What is mela kafin? Melu kafin. Fistful of. Handful means little. Handful of. Okay. Give me handful of what? Sugar. So that is your tamiz. And then atini mela kafin. You can use min sukkarim. Are you with me? But you cannot say atini mela kafi sukarini. This is mafulun bihi, mudaf, mudaf lehi, mudaf, mudaf lehi. No, not in this case. Where tamiz is coming, you can't do that. That is the meaning of it. Eh? Now, Dr. Abdurrahim has explained them. Okay. For example, naf. Ma fissamai kadru rahatin sahaban. Same example. Kadru rahatin is mudaf mudafilihi. We cannot say kadru rahati sahabin. No, we can't do. We have to make, bring proper tamis. Huh? Next one, brothers and sisters. Walan yukbala min ahdihim. This is the scenario of Yomul Kayama. Okay. وَلَنْ يُكْبَلْ مِنْ أَحْدِهِمْ فِلُوْ أَرْدٍ huh? The fill of the whole earth. Huh? Whatever the earth is, equal to that. Okay? Will not be accepted. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, what is لَنْ harfunafi? Huh? Are you with me? Wa nasbin. Wa Mustaqbalin. Fine. Yuk bala is mansub because of land. What is yuk bala? Majhul. So we got to look for knife file. Where is the knife file? Melu. Huh? Melu ardi. Huh? And then now we have to bring Melu ardin, the fill of earth. What is that? Zahaban. Huh? If the kuffar were to ransom themselves from the punishment of the Yom al and offer the whole earth as a gold, it will not be accepted. This is the meaning of it, huh, brothers and sisters. It's very clear. Huh? One has to read two or three verses before it and two or three verses after it to get a complete picture. Next one, brothers and sisters. Melu kafin min damin. What is the meaning of this? Handful of blood. Huh? Or fistful of blood. Huh? See, min damin. We cannot say melu kafi damin. No, that will be wrong. Either it has to be melu kafin daman or min Damin. Huh? That's it, brothers and sisters. Okay. We move forward now. This is more or less revision because we had studied in our key with English ex explanation. Tamizu <clears throat> nisbati. Huwama fassara. What is the meaning of fassara? Fassara yufassiru wa huwa mufassir. Explain. Huh? It explains jumlatan. It explains a sentence. What kind of a jumlatan? Huh? Mubhamata nisbati. Huh? That it is obscure in its relation. Huh? Jumlatan, brothers and sisters, is indefinite. And mubhatan nisbati, it is it's not for the jumla. Huh? Okay? It explains the obscure relationship in the sentence. Example, Nah. Hasuna Hadha Talibu. This student uh, is good or became good. In what way, brother? It's the relationship is obscure. Uh, it's vague. We do not know what we are talking about. Till you bring the Tamiz. What is it? Holokan. Uh, this student is good in manners. Are you with me? 
Or you can even say, Hasuna hadha talibu elman. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? This is the meaning of tamizu nisbati. Fa inna nisbat al husni ila talibi mubhamatun. Tahtamilu umuran kasiratan. Fa inna nisbat al husni ila talibi mubhamatun. Tahtamilu umuran kasiratan. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Uh, the relationship of being good, uh, uh, it is obscure. Tahtamilu uh, means contains. Ehtamala, yahtamilu means it contains. What does it contain? Umuran, this is amrun umur, uh, jama, kathiratan. It contains many issues, many things. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Faja tamiz, so tamiz came. Faja tamizu. Khulkan. Li izalati, to remove it. Hazal ibham. What is ibham? Ambiguity. Look at this word, brothers and sisters. Mubhamatun. What is it? It is a summa food. What is the abham? Master. And what is the verb? Abhama yobihim. Inshallah, we can figure out that. Very good. Did you get the idea, brothers and sisters? When you talk about that someone is good, it's not clear in what way he is good till you bring the kamis. Huh? And then they, things become very clear. Otherwise, things are vague. Huh? When things are vague, in this case of relationship, huh? then uh, you bring the uh, tamiz, and it is called tamizu nispati. Huh? Inshallah. You know this very well, inshallah. Uh, here is something I do not want you to really... Uh, be overwhelmed by it, just try to understand. Huh? And uh, when you will, inshallah, revise it once or twice, later on, the idea will sink in your mind. Huh? Brothers and sisters, this tamiz, Hasunat Talibu Hulukan. Originally, that Hulukan was a file. What was it? Was a file. Simin tamizin nisbati makana asluhu failan. It was originally a file. Okay, fine brothers and sisters. How is it that? You turn the sentence around. Okay. Hasuna now tell me, Hasuna is the verb. Where is the file? Huluku. And in the other sentence, Hulukan was Tamiz. So you have a situation in the case of uh, Tamiz Nisba that you, it is actually a file. If you want to make it, you can also make it as a Jumala in which the Tamiz will become fine. Try to understand, brothers and sisters. Keep these two sentences in front of you and you get the clear cut idea. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hasuna Talibu Hulukan. What is Hulukan? Tamiz. Hasuna Huluku Talibi. What is Huluku? Fine. Fine. The same way. A mafulun bihi can become tamiz. Okay, originally it is mafulun bihi. Fine, brothers and sisters. Wa minhu ma kana asluhu mafulun. Nahwa. Look at this, brothers and sisters. This is from the Quran. Fajjarna al arda uyunan. We 
you know, exploded the earth with springs, caused the earth to bring out springs, okay? Takudiruhu, what is the estimation of that sentence? Fajarna uyunal arad. So uyunan became uyuna, mafulun bihi. Keep these two sentences neatly, you know, in front of you. Means you should write on a separate uh, piece of paper in your note uh, and keep them in front of you. You can also revise it from time to time to get the idea that the tamiz of tamizu nispa can or is actually a file or mafulun bihi. This is for our understanding, brother. Most of the time, you will see tamiz in the Quran, and you will figure out, or you will see tamiz in any uh, Arabic uh, literature, and you will be able to figure out. And even when you will write something, you will be able to write properly. But always we say, "Kam dolaran indaka." So what is dolaran? It's it's tamiz. Why did you bring tamiz? Because kam denotes numbers. Got the idea? Inshallah, you'll always uh, be able to use the tamiz in a very correct way, inshallah. This is very important to remember. Hukmuhu, the ruling of it is Annahu Mansur. Brothers and sisters, tamizu nispati is always Mansur. Wala yajuzu, it is not permissible. Jarruhu, it is not permissible as majroor. Cannot be majroor. Is always mansu. Fihi tafsilun, there is even more detail in it. Satadrusuhu, fima baad. We will study it afterwards, inshallah. Number third, brother and sister, is takhrish. Mafid Dasi min Amsilati Tamiz. We have already done that. Waskur Nova Kulli Wahidin Minha. We have already done that. Now, a very beautiful and easy exercise, brothers and sisters. Ajinat Tamiza Fima Yali. Specify the Tamiz in what follows. Waskur Nau Ahu. And describe the kind. This is very easy. And very interesting exercise. Are you all ready? Okay. Hafsa, ana akbaru minka sinnan. There is the tamiz. What is the translation? I am older than you in age. Huh? Where is the tamiz? Sinnan. What is the? It is the tamizu nispati. Very good. Everybody got it. It's very easy, brothers and sisters. Abir? Second Tamiz. What kind of it is? Is it Tamizu Nisbat or it is Tamizu Zat? No, it is Zat huh? because it denotes quantity. Huh? Are you with me? Remember, huh? when you have comparative degree, or superlative degree, then that tamiz will be tamizu nispa, for sure. Okay. When you have a quantity to describe, then it will be tamizu zati. Ana akbaru minka sinnan. I am older than you. See, now we have a comparative degree. I am older than you. It is a comparative degree. In what way I am older than you? Huh? Or bigger than you in age. So this is your Tamizu Nispa. Remember, Sister Aisha, I repeat again, that when you are comparing something with something, then it will always be Tamizu Nispa. More examples will come, inshallah. Karatu Shreena Safatan. Sister Sumaya. Ishrina, what does it denote? No, yes. Huh? Okay, Ishrin denotes number. Huh? So Safatan is your Tamiz. What will you say? What kind it is? 
Tamiduzata. Tamiduzata because it denotes number. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Here, Karatu Shreena, it is your Mafulun Bihi. Okay, and then you brought the Tamis. Fine, brothers and sisters. Fatima, I will ex- help you if you want to do it. Tabal Mudarrisu Nafsan. Huh? What is the meaning of it, brother? The Mudarris felt good about himself. Huh? Okay, he was calm, he was not under stress. Tabal huh? Mudarrisu. Okay, Nafsan means he was calm and cool, was not under stress. Huh? Fine. What is this? This is Tamizu Nispa. This is Tamizu Nispa. Because in this case, you do not have, have any numbers. No quantities here. Okay? Fine. Sister Naima, I'll help you again. Garasa. What is the meaning of Garasa? To plant. Huh? Garasatil Baladiyatu. What is Al Baladiyatu? City authority. Huh? What is it? City authority. So the city authority planted Garasatil Baladiyatu Ashavaria. They planted the streets with what? Trees. Huh? Shajaran. Okay. Here also it is Tamizu Nispati. Tamizu Nispati. Huh? Okay. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Sister Naima, you can do one more. I want to give you very easy. Man ahsanu min Allahi. See, look at it. Man ahsanu min min Allahi. Who is better than Allah? So what I'm doing now? I'm using comparative degree. So hukman. Tamizu Nisbat. Huh? It is easy. Tamizu Nisbat. Are you with me, Sister Aisha? Yeah. Huh? Inshallah. Now, Sister Aisha, you do, you do this sentence. Kalladina min kablikum kanu ashadda min kum. See, ashadda min kum. Kuwatan. So, kuwatan is Tamiz. What kind of a Tamiz is this? Tamizu Nisbat. Huh? Okay. They were more severe or more strong. Huh? In what way? Kuwa. Stronger in strength. Kanu. What is Kanu? Kana is real Mahdi. It is Nakis. Where is the Ism Kana? Wow. Where is Khabar Kana? Ashadda. Huh? Mansub. Minkum. Kuwatan is your Tamiz. Wa Aksara. Now, wa, wow has come. What is Aksara? Mautufunala. Ashadda. And they are more. More in what? Amwalan. So Amwalan is your Tamiz. What kind of a Tamiz? Tamiz Nispa. Wa Auladan. Same thing. Sister Mamuna. Wa Hasuna Ulaika Rafikan. Nisbat. What is the translation? They became good in friendship. Huh? They became good in friendship. Now you got to complete the sentences. Akmil kulla jumlatin mimma yati bi tamiz munasir. Fine, brother and sister. Ishtaraitu mitran. Sister Nasreen, what will you say? Sister Maimuna, did you finish? Okay. This is Tan Nasreen. What will you say? Ishtaraitu Mitran. Harihan. Fine. I bought a yard of silk. Fine. Very good. Or Kumashan. A cloth. Okay. Now, Sister Manas. Imlail Kuba. Fill the cup. Lebanon. Fill the cup with milk. Huh? Huh? Or kahvatan, whatever you want to say. Huh? Sister Gulshan, Hamidun, Aksaru Tulabi. No, Aksaru Tulabi, here it is superlative degree. Huh? 
Okay? In what way? You have to find Atamis. Huh? What way? Brothers and sisters, you can say uh, Ilman, Riyaban in absence, or Nashatan. What is the meaning of Nashatan? What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Hamid is the most active student. Eh? Nashat means activity. Most active students. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Sister Gulshan, what kind of a tamiz is this? It will be tamiz nisbat. Eh? Because you are talking about, again, a superlative degree. Okay? Sister Arifa, man asanukum kalaman, or you can say sautan, or you can say khatan, or you can say kiraatan. Are you with me? Who is the best amongst you, but in what way? Kalaman in speech, or sautan in voice, or khatan in handwriting. Or kitabatan, also handwriting. Or kiratan, tilawatan, you can use it, inshallah. What kind of a tamiz will that be? Nisbat. It will be nisbat, okay. Fine, sisters. So, khayna, uridu giraman. I want a gram. Just adasan, right? You want a... Uh, gram of uh, lentil. lentils, yes. That's fine. But what will you do with a gram of lentil? <laughs> that one is better. You want a gram of gold. Are you with me? <laughs> okay. Uridu graman zahban. I want a, see, one gram gold, that's, that's more precious. Huh? Uh, now you can say this. Uridu kilograman adasa. Are you with me? I want a kilogram. Kilogram of what? Adasan. Lengthened. Fine, brothers and sisters. Number six. Hindi saun burran. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hindi saun. What is the meaning of saun? It's a capacity of measure. Huh? I have one sa burran. Wheat. Ij alil tamiza fi hazil jumlati majruran bi min marratan one time well bil idafati marratan ukhra and the second time make it into mudafilahi. So what will you say? In the sa'un min burran. And next time what will you say? In the sa'u Burren. That's the idea. It's easy. Are you following me, brothers and sisters? Do you want me to write it or you can understand it? Inshallah, you understand it. Huh? Okay. Number seven, we did it. We'll do it again. Sun un mastarun sana yasnau wa huwa la vajni fu'ulun. Hati masadir al afwalil atiyati ala vajni fu'ulun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Shariba shurban. Shakara, shukran. Wadda, wuddun. Wadda, wuddun. Okay, I'll write it, brothers and sisters. Wuddun. Wuddun. Okay. Next one, brother. Zahida. Zuhdun. Okay. What is the meaning of Zahida? To abstain from... Uh, the luxuries. Uh, to, uh, but uh, Zahida, what is the ism file of Zahida? Zahid. What is the meaning of Zahid? A person who lives very simply. 
He renounces the world. He has got nothing to do with the luxuries. Huh? So, Zahid. Huh? Brothers and sisters, it's, it's a nice name. The Zahid is the one who has renounced the world. He doesn't want anything to do with... He just prefers simple living. No uh, luxuries. Okay. So, what is the Zahida? Well, Zahudun. Huh? Sakira. What is the meaning of Sakira? To get drunk. Huh? So what will be the master? Sukrun. Sukrun. Huh? Intoxication. Hmm? Fine, brothers and sisters. Next one. Tamarinun Shafaviyun. Tamarinun Shafaviyun. Yakulu Kullu Talibin. Everybody says, no, you got to say something about yourself. Ana ahsanu tullahi, I'm the best student. Huh? How many things you can say? Okay, don't say, write it in your notes. Okay. Ana ahsanu tullahi, elman, khulkan, adaban, manners, rina'an. What is the meaning of Ginaan? Singing. Singing. And I Ginaan. I am the best student in singing in the class. Kiraatan, Kitabatan, Adaban, Ana Ahsanu Tullabi, Rasman, in drawing. Rasman, huh? Or you can say, Ana Ahsanu Tullabi, Riyadatan, in sports. I am the best in the sports, huh? So you can say anything you want. Sibahatan. What is the meaning of sibahatan? Swimming. Swimming. Sabaha. Yes, Bahu. Sibahatan. Very good. Write down anything that you feel like, brothers and sisters. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to Litta Jubi Sigatani. What is the meaning of Sigatani? Form. Two forms. What is the singular? Sigatun. What is the meaning of Sigatun? Form or mood. Huh? Okay. Fail Tajub has two forms, brothers and sisters. Ma Afalahu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Afa'ala is the fi'l utajib. Wa af'il bihi. Got to bring harfjar bi when you use it as fi'l amr. Ma ajamala sayarata. How beautiful the car is. Are you with me? How beautiful the car is. What a beautiful car. Okay. Or what can you say? The same thing. You want to say the same thing. Ajamil bisayarati. 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 That's it. So, here, brother and sister, fialu amrin, fialu amrin, yufidu ta'ajum. It indicates wonder. Now this is fit tanzil. Asbir bihi wa asmiya. Okay? This is from Surah Kaf. And before this, brother and sister, there is a line. This is just a part of the verse. It's not the complete verse. The line is, Lahu gaibu samawati wal ard. To Allah belongs the unseen of heavens and earth. And then this thing comes. Huh? What is that, brothers and sisters? Absar bihi. How uh, best Allah sees it. Everything. Huh? And then, wa asmi. And how best He hears. Huh? But before that, the verses, still there are more lines, and you can check it in the Quran. Inshallah, you'll understand it. The line is, 
lahu gaibu samavati wal ard. And then asbir bihi, how best he sees, asmi, how best he hears. Fine, brothers and sisters. Next one, again from the Quran. I just have to say it again. Brother and sister, this course designed by Dr. Abdurrahim helps us to understand Quran. Because all the examples are coming from the Quran and the, the grammar rules that Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to teach us okay, are applicable to the Quran. So, inshallah, if you finish this book and understand it well, then you will understand the Quran directly, inshallah. Inshallah. Huh? Or when you hear recitation, brothers and sisters, huh? you are, your heart is going to, you know, feel the spiritual intoxication. Huh? And when you are, you know, praying in Salah, and Imam is leading the Salah, and he recites verses from the Quran, each and every word you will understand. And you will feel khushu and khuzu in the salah that probably you and I never felt it before. Because now we understand what the imam is saying in that salah and we follow it with our heart and soul uh, in understanding it. So it brings our salah to the highest degree of uh, khushu and khuzu, inshallah. Uh. Humility huh? and humbleness, brothers and sisters. Asmi bihim wa abasir yauma yatu na na na. Yatu na na. You got to tell me what all this is. Huh? Yatu na na. What is this? What kind of verb is this? Tell me, Madi. Ata yati, mashallah. Very good. Ata yati. Ata. But see, you can easily, you were able to figure out. Ata, what is the mudarya? Yati. Just for the fun of it, let's conjugate. Ata, ataya, atau, atat, atata, ataina. Huh? Fine. Yati. Yati yani, yatuna. Huh? Yatuna. Tati, tati, tati yani, and then yatina. So what is the verb here, brothers and sisters? Yatuna. Huh? They will come to us. Huh? Who is na here? Mafulun bihi. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Okay. Again, this is the scenario of Yom al Asmi abihim. How best they will hear. Wa uh, absir. And how best they will see. Uh, the day they will come to us. They will come to us. Okay, brother. We are all going to return to our creator, you know. Okay, so this is what it describes, you know. That the day they will come to us, they will hear and they will see in the best possible way. Huh? Okay, brother, brother and sisters. Fama asbarahum. Now this is again asbarahum. This is the first form of fialu tajub. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Fama asbarahum anunnar. Now this talks about the kuffars uh, on whom the judgment has been passed. They are the ashabun nar. Okay, so what is this, brother and sister? What is the meaning of this? Uh, they are in the hell. Fama asbarahum al How patiently they can endure the fire. Uh, how patiently now they are enduring the fire for all the things, uh, misdeeds they did in the world. Now they are take, getting there reward, which is the hell. Ta'ajjab. What is this ta'ajjab? Amar. Huh? 
means you know make uh, wonder verb of wonder okay in what follows basta milan using what is the next word what is the meaning of that fearly tarjubi tell me the translation of this two words two <laughs> what is it fearlani fearlaini and because you are making it as a muda so you got to drop the noon so it became fearlai let me write it down again i would like to write it down so that you know you know you you get refresh okay fearlani from there you make fearlaini plus you make Now, when you made it into mudaf, got the idea, brothers and sisters? How will I write now? Is it clear, Inshallah? Means we got to make. We got to use both of them, huh? inshallah. The first sentence, Sister Rausa, Kathratun Nujumi, Ma Aksaran Nuju Ma. Huh? Next one. Aksar bin Nujumi. Got the idea? Very simple. Huh? Let me write it down, brothers. I have to write down at least one so that you get a good idea. This is what you will be doing. What will be the first sentence? Huh? Ma Aksara. And what will be your second? Hmm? Have the idea, brothers and sisters? Hmm? This is how you are going to do the rest of it. Inshallah, you will try it at home, but we'll go through it quickly. So, Sir Abir, can you do the next one, sister? Very beautiful sentence. Suhulatul logatil Arabi. Okay, no, you've got to make it into a verb. Word of wonder. Ha, mashallah. Ma ashala and then al logatal arbiyata. Are you with me? Ma ashala al logatal arbiyata. Translation? How easy it is. Arabic languages. I hope you will agree with me. It is easy. Requires hard work. Huh? But we understand everything, inshallah. Huh? Fine. What will the next one? Ashal. Ashal bil logatil arbiyati. Got the idea? Ashal bil logatil Arbiyati. Now we are doing it fast. Inshallah, you will do it at home. Huh? Next one, uh, Sister Suhaina. Ma ab adas sama. Uh, huh? And then next will be ab id bis samai. Meaning is ex- ex- same. Huh? There is no difference in meaning. Both are uh, the fiel tajub, and both. Have the same meaning. What will be the meaning, Sister uh, uh, Sukhaina? How far the sky is. Huh? Fine. Sister uh, Naima, you want to do, Sister? Husnul Labni. Huh? Okay, I'll help you. Ma Ahsan Labna. 
how good the milk is. And next will be Ahsan Billabani. Huh? Fine. Sister uh, Fatima, Kurbul Imtihani, nearness of exam. Huh? Ma Akrabal Imtihana, how close the examination is. Change it into Fial Amar. Akrib Bil Imtihan. Akrib Bil Imtihan. Got the idea? Akrib Bil Imtihan. Meaning is same. How close the examination is. Brothers and sisters, the last one. Section 10. The Ammalil Misal. Ponder over the example. Thum Adhil Mil'a. Fi Khamsi Jumalin Ala Gerarihi. Uh, on the pattern of it, on the example of it, on the pattern of it, uh, make five sentences. Okay. But this, what is mil u? It's a quantity. So here is an example. Uridu. Uh, okay. I want. Fine. What do you want? Mela kafin. Mela kafin means handful or fistful. Huh? Okay, what do you want? Handful of. Fine. I don't know what you want. So you got to make it clear. So what do you bring? You bring tamis. So what do you want? I want a handful of sugar. See, you ran out of sugar. You went to your next door neighbor. You knock the door. The door opens. And you say to your neighbor, Uridu mela kafin sukkaran. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now you got to make it five sentences. Okay? Uh, Inshallah, you'll do it at home. Huh? I will give you some example. Huh? Always you run out of something in the house. Huh? You run and you ask your neighbor or somebody. Okay? So you go to your neighbor and you say, Atini. Min fadlik. You got to say min fadlik. Means please. Huh? Atini mela kafin samnan. Samnan. What is samnan? Cooking oil. Margarine. Or anything. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. You go on the beach and you take some sand in your hand. What did you do? Akhastu mela kafin ramlan. What is the sand? Ramlan. Huh? Ramlan. Huh? Make your own sentences, brothers and sisters. You can also take help from Hello Tamari. The last sentence I will say. Laitali. Laitali. So Laita is, what is it? Min Akhwatu Inna. Okay, it will have Ism Khabar. The Ism will be Mansu. So Laitali. What is Li? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Now it has to be mila kafin. Laitali mila kafin. Gold is very expensive. Thousand dollars an ounce. Huh? So laitali mila kafin zahaban. What is it? I wish I had a fistful of gold. <laughs> anyway. Brothers and sisters, inshallah you will check it. Now we move to the next lesson.